Hi guys, and welcome back to my ch 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 channel. This is um, a makeup tutorial today. We're doing makeup only and cheap, affordable makeup. This is the look that I've got going, looking super gorgeous and like literally nothing from this haul of makeup and transformation is going to be more than $1.50. I'm telling you right now, you better buckle up, get your chips, your popcorn, and a, a notepad because I'm going to be telling you the products that you need to get from the Dollar Tree to look this sexy and hot. Okay, so let's just jump into the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, let's do it. The first product that I'm going to be using is, well, I couldn't freaking find any face serum or any primer or anything like that. I couldn't find any of that. They do have face masks, but I'm not trying to do that right now because that stuff is super icky. What I found is the only thing I can find, and I'm going to go really light on it so that it doesn't like pill my foundation, but um, it's called Rose Facial Oil and it's by the brand P Be Pure. This is like a serum that I'm pretty sure you apply. It has like a smell of like rose water and I'm just gonna go for it. This stinky little product, I don't even know if it's worth my time to even try this. Oh, there's just so many like drops. Okay, let's just put a drop there. Oh, this is fully commitment here because I don't know if this stuff is any good. It's gonna break me out. I don't need any more pimples on my face. I don't even come here and say, hey, you don't have any. Yes, I do. I have a lot of redness around this area. Okay, first impressions with this product. So nice. <laughs> it smells really good. Like I actually love the smell of rose. I think it's like super clean and super fresh. Yeah, overall, like if you can see, there's like a little bit of a glow. Now that that's on, I'm gonna honestly let that kind of saturate in my skin. So I'm gonna take like a few minutes to just allow it to do its work. Either way, it's basically, it just says like put it on your hands, apply the formula on the skin and let one to two minutes to set before applying additional products. Okay, so this is technically our primer. So hopefully this is good. I do feel glowy. I do feel fresh. I don't know if it like actually took away some redness, but we're not going to make any bold assumptions. Uh, but we are going to go into the next product, which no offense, but I don't buy like face serums or creams or like foundation really from the Dollar Tree because I'm just like not that type of girl. However, this video is going to prove to you that it is possible. You can look gorgeous and honestly, you don't need to spend like a million dollars on makeup. When there's a dollar store right across the street, you should really be going there and saving your money for things like food and burgers and chips. Okay. Ooh, I forgot to show you guys. So basically this is the second product. It is, um, oh yeah. And sorry, I had a dilemma. I couldn't find anything that was actually really practical for my skin shade. So I will say they're not the best with skin shades. So that's also another reason why I don't use their products very often. But this is like, I need like a concealer or like some sort of like cover up for my face. Just like a, a tinted moisturizer. What I found was this hydrating under eye concealer. This is what it looks like. I did unbox it and I did try it before. It's actually really nice, but it's kind of greasy. So be aware. Um, and it basically has the benefits of an eye cream and a concealer all in one. So I think it has some sort of like formula that makes your face look a lot more hydrated and nourished and blah, blah, blah. Who cares, really? But anyways, it has hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid, if you don't mind. And it's in the shade Fair because I like to fake that I'm tanned, but I'm pale as a ghost. I'm a ginger, okay? I naturally burn. So this is like decent color. I think it's going to be fine. Um, I can't, what I did last time was I just like zigzagged it on my skin and then I blended it with my hands because that's how I do it in this place. So let's go for it. Okay. So I put like a little line there, little zigzag. And yes, I know it's for like concealer and stuff like that. I literally just said I cannot find any foundation, but at the end of the day, it's Dollar Tree. You have to improvise. No one's going to come up to you and be like, uh -huh. I'm sorry, you are wearing the wrong product for the wrong situation. No, no one's going to say that. Just do you, do what you can, and call it a day. Okay, I'm going to go in and start blending. So the second time I'm using this product, so let's see how it works with that rose oil. I know, I make really weird faces when I apply this stuff. Okay, ooh. Okay, so... 
as you can see it's not half bad but it's like super messy on my fingers I instantly regret this okay honestly I'm just gonna let it dry up I, d I do have my backup thing that I thought like okay after I've kind of blended it in, I'm just gonna go in with this freaking beauty blender and I'll explain this later it's just a setting spray just to kind of wet the brush a little bit this beauty blender is also from the Dollar Tree so don't come for me I'm not a big fan of using beauty blenders because I find that they like literally steal all the product. They soak it up because that's what sponges do. So as I'm dabbing it in, I definitely do notice that it's actually providing like decent coverage. This is no like high end product, but this would definitely do the trick if you just need like a very light cover for your face honestly do you see like i was like a little bit red here yes i have a couple pimples here but overall like i feel like a new person so yeah i definitely like that product i have to see excuse me the last time i tried this on it actually didn't break me out so well i, I don't think it did but um i'll kind of keep you guys informed maybe i'll do like another one of these at some point but yeah overall i love it my face feels and, and also, like, with the rose oil, like, it didn't pill, you know, it, like, didn't roll. So, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. At this point, I'm looking at myself, and I'm just like, what am I missing? I feel so naked and vulnerable. And I know exactly what I'm missing. I'm missing my eyebrows. They are, like, shaved, and they're not, they're so thin. They need to be, like, defined. So this is a product that I use every day. On the double, I have not found a single product that I like better than this. I mean, it's not a tattoo pencil, so it's not going to stay forever, but it's the perfect shade for me. It's medium brown. It's by the brand Ioni. This brand, Ioni, like, is on another level. They should be a drugstore brand, but they're in the Dollar Tree, so it's like, thank you, because you're being affordable for baddies on a budget. Anyways, just going to do my eyebrows. I don't think there's much explaining that needs to be done. I will always be a thin eyebrow girl, just know that. Oh wow, that literally just put so much life back into this gorgeous face of mine. Okay, so the only option that I have for kind of like a contour slash like bronzer is this. This is actually a long wear foundation in like a very dark shade. I've seen people do this, like they want to have a bit more of a cream base contour, so I'm gonna give this a try. I didn't really find anything that would be a powder that would look good with my skin. I hope this isn't too dark, but because it's like cream, I can probably blend it a little bit more and dab it. But yeah, this is also by the brand Le Mercier, whatever that's supposed to mean. Overall, the packaging is super cute. I love super cute things. Okay, ooh, that looks like a lip balm. Like that's just like squirts out like that. Like that's a bit... That's a bit much. I know it's supposed to be a foundation, so I'm not gonna be like too picky. Oh, and also this brush, this is from the Dollar Tree. This is from like a while ago, but you can find contour brushes there, no problem. Either way, what do I do? Um, just gonna like dab it in a few areas that like I usually put contour on. You see, I put like a few little tiny dots because we need to add some dimension to the face. Boop, 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 and maybe one tiny, tiny bit on my nose. Ooh. Okay, that's a lot. Don't like that at all. Okay, ready? Let's see how this blends. Oh, <clears throat> that's horrible. That. That's not the best, to be honest. But I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe I need to put a little bit more. Can you see that? Did it bronze it? Oh wow, I feel like that actually did look good on my nose. My nose looks smaller. I'm pregnant if you didn't know, BTW. So hopefully I don't have pregnancy nose. Pregnancy nose is where like your nose gets like super big and wide. And like, I already have some slight insecurities with my nose. So that's the last thing I need on my agenda. But okay, okay, so from, from what I can tell, I can kind of see that like this did like 
bronze up my face but it also made it red so i want to go ahead and put like some contrast something's missing so what's missing is concealer and concealer is my favorite thing in the world um i'm gonna just do it in i'm not gonna do my eyes right now because i like to not do the areas of my eyes especially if i'm doing eyeliner because like it smudges as I apply it. But if you're wondering what I have for concealer, I actually have this dupe type of deal. It's a contour stick. It's in the shade light. It's by LA Colors. I swear by this thing. I've bought like 15 of these in the past year. I love this because it like, it's a super creamy pen. I like contour, contour. I kind of like line it around my eyes and like shape my brows even more give that 2000s girl effect but it also doubles down as a like contour like concealer stick and it's creamy it's glossy it covers your pimples it's not your perfect type of thing but it's also it does the job so we'll just i'll just show you what i'm doing okay so i'm just well i've got a whole bunch of freaking pimples around my chin clearly i've been breaking out a lot so i'm putting that there and just in this area here for now and oh a little bit there okay oh crap now what do i blend it out with i usually have a different brush that's not for the dollar tree but i'm gonna use my beauty blender again and i'm gonna wet it i'm gonna actually saturate it with some freaking cheap stinky um setting spray One thing that I'm like really starting to understand is like at the end of the day, nobody knows what's on your face. If you're wearing an eyeliner that is $35 at Sephora or you're wearing one that's $1.50 at the Dollar Tree, who's going to really know that unless you're flaunting it around everywhere? Like honestly, no one's going to know. Either way, what do you guys think? I'm already looking so cute and fabulous, so I love it. But now we're going to move on to my favorite thing in the world, which is eyeliner. And I actually just bought a new one because I kind of hate this one. It's the LA Colors um, Auto one. It's like the one that winds. I prefer to like sharpen. So I got this Wet n Wild one. I've used this several times before. It's not my favorite, but it does the job. So this is a coal eyeliner in the shade black. Okay, so this is like... Okay, this is what a normal pencil looks like, and this is what this freaking eyeliner is. It's like, wow, you guys are really generous giving me this gigantic stick. Like, what could I possibly do? How many years would this last me? Like, a million. Okay, I cannot do eyeliner on camera, so goodbye for a minute while I go do it. Okay, oh my gosh, I... Do you know how long that took me to freaking use this stupid thing? Uh, like, it took so long, you had to press so hard, like wouldn't recommend it but it obviously it works you know i've got some eyeliner on there i don't like my face with just eyeliner on and mascara like i feel like my eyes are like small but when i put blend powders on them it kind of makes my eyes look big somehow so four palettes i think i've talked to you guys about this before like this is like the one thing i would die for if they ever discontinue them it's this exact palette i'm telling you i literally you want to buy me something buy me this buy me like 10 of these the perfect shades so it's got like a really like darkish grayish black it's got a silver it's got a really crisp like snow white and a really cute stick that you can use to like apply the products i don't recommend using this one you can buy like the individual ones like they're really nice they're kind of like a 2000s thing so you don't have to but either way and then another palette that i really like it's by the brand le mercier is the nude smoky palette this is what it looks like it's dollar fifty so don't be thinking this is breaking the bank it's got the perfect little nude shade it's got like a bunch of arrays of browns so like a light brown a dark brown and some like shimmer and the pigment is good you just kind of need to work it in so i was thinking for today i'm gonna do like a little mix of both do like my favorite type of look with this but like maybe a little more like calm and neutral so i'm gonna go ahead and use this palette and my favorite brushes ever these are yeah these i don't know what the brand is but they're blue you cannot miss them they sell them everywhere highly recommend if you like eyeshadow get these they're like a dollar fifty and you cannot go wrong like i've got like this many at this point and i need more either way i'm gonna go in with a brush that's like i use for darker colors and i'm gonna do this like poo looking color it's not the prettiest but okay so for eyeshadow today i'm just doing how i always do start in the inner corner sorry start in the outer corner and blend like it's your life like your life's counting on it well actually do like a dot 
press it in and then do like a little shimmer shimmy do like a little shimmy you see that don't worry it's not supposed to look gorgeous at the beginning I promise I feel like if you want like a less daunting color than black play around with brown brown is like the most beautiful shade for pretty much any eye color that's what we're gonna do for now I'm not gonna like over blend It's looking very cute. Should I do like a black? I think I want to like intensify it, but maybe not that much. I know what I will do though, is I'm going to go ahead and add like a little pink shimmer, this one. And I'm gonna just honestly apply it with my fingers. And I'm just putting that on the, what do you call this? Inner corner of the eye. Like this is super, super gorgeous. The pigment is like, perfect it's like a highlighter from 2016 like i'm telling you if you're not if you make fun of people for using dollar tree products like you don't know what you're missing look at that that's like so pretty all you need to do now is get like a brush that doesn't have that much product on it and kind of buff that into itself see i love that i feel very confident with this look but i know that I can't help myself I'm gonna have to put a little bit of black on the outer corner just because I really love that like bold dimension I'm going to get this black I'm just dabbing it like once or twice and literally be careful here because you could ruin everything just dot just do a couple dabs right on in the inner see 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 that really really makes a difference like actually intensifies it and you don't have to do much blending so don't really don't get yourself carried away everyone can do this look it's super super simple okay perfect like before i'm gonna go and over blend i'm gonna do my favorite thing ever with this contour stick number one i'm actually gonna do my like under eye here and a little bit over here too and then we're gonna do the eyebrows so I'm starting all the way. I'm going to go all the way. Like I know that looks weird. Yeah, it looks super weird. But who cares? I have this flat brush. It's from Wet n Wild. And yes, they carry Wet n Wild at the Dollar Tree. You are sleeping on the Dollar Tree if you don't know that. Start buffing it out. It's like this product is like super creamy. It's unnatural how creamy it is. And I'm just kind of blending it into my skin. I kind of got a little bit in my eyebrow. So I'm going to just go back in and define, define that line of the brow. Okay. All right. And I'm going to use this little doodad. Ugh, the faces that I make when I use beauty blenders. Okay, so that's looking really good. And now because we put the white part there, ooh, I scratched myself. I need to go back in with another brush, not too much product on it actually. And then I'm gonna start doing like my full blend. And recommendation, put your fingers like farther back. Don't, if you press like this, you're gonna get a really deep type of color. You want it to be like super light and gradient. So just lightly go over there you freaking go ta-da I think I need to intensify the sparkle a little bit and I'm telling you I already look like a million dollars even though I'm a dollar fifty working product over here if you ever want to know my secret this LA color stick it's a, it's literally I know it's gross looking but if I show you here do you see it's a small shine, but it makes the world of difference. I love going with this and then applying it on the out inner corner of my eye because it acts like a glue and then product just sticks a lot better. I'm not saying that this stuff doesn't stick because these products are actually really good. I'm going to just intensify this like brightness over here. I'm going to go with like kind of like an off cream type of color and I'm just going to dab that there. Oh my gosh, see? That like glow is like so iridescent. 
and scrumptious. It's giving get away from me unless you're cool. Okay, this is awesome, looking good. What's the next step? A mascara, okay? I bought some mascara because no offense, but you won't be catching me getting mascara from the Dollar Tree. Even though I'm advocating for Dollar Tree makeup, mascara, nah. I have my personal favorites, which is this one, this green one. I freaking love it. But I want to try this out. Maybe it's good. It says it's lengthening mascara, new and improved from LA Colors. LA Colors runs Dollar Tree and Ioni. I got it also because it's pink, so duh. First results. Ta da! It's like your average Joe looking thing. Doesn't really smell like anything bad either. Um, okay, let's just go for it. Yeah, it's like I'm putting literally nothing on. It's like dry as bone. Uh, just so you know, I am putting lashes on, but I put mascara on to help it look more realistic. It's just a little beauty trick that I've learned along the years. Okay, so overall, this is garbage, and that's literally why I don't... Like, I can barely tell. I've got, like, a tiny... looks like a tiny, tiny bit of mascara. If you want lengthening, gorgeous mascara... You can get a good one for like $6, so it's technically still super affordable. So as for the lashes, I'm going a little wild here. Ioni has a problem where they like like launch these like lashes in segments and like for holidays or something like that. Like they need to stop making such big, voluminous, ugly lashes. Like no one wants them. Like who really wears like humongous lashes like that? Like that just irritates the crap out of me. These are the ones that I got. They are large, but they're not like that large, but they're like, it doesn't suit everyone's shape. And oh, the ones that they do have small, they're like small and minuscule. And when you put them on, you can barely tell. It's like, can't you make some short, stubby, super thick, voluminous lashes? Like you guys used to do that. There used to be a one type of lash that they had that was so good. I would buy so many of them back in like 2022. I was dollar store after dollar store. Just constantly trying to go and look for this pair. They don't make them anymore. And I'm telling you, very disappointed in them. I don't really even buy this brand anymore. Because their lashes are crap. However, if you like big and bulky lashes, go wild. But either way, yeah, that's kind of what they look like. <sighs> they look like huge spider legs and I do not like it. I think I need to cut these. These are gargantuous. I like I will say like the quality is really nice. Like look how freaking huge those are those are gonna like that's all you're gonna see in my eyes is just these humongous lashes Ugh, i hate that okay well i'm gonna be right back with a gorgeous transformation when you see me next time i'm gonna have these voluminous gigantic lashes on so hang on a second okay voila uh it's me but like 10 times more gorgeous so I kind of a little bit take back what I said about like these being like super long. They're a little bit on the long side, like side profile. Like they're a little long. They're not my favorite. However, I could still walk a runway and feel like super confident. So I'm going to give these like a 7 out of 10. They definitely work because they're affordable. They're easy to grab and stuff like that. If you want to know what I did, I did cut them in half because otherwise my eyes are small. So if I cut them in half, it's easier to put them on. It's easier for just everything in general. Either way, uh, the lash glue that I used was the LA Colors Adhesive. It's like this little tiny little toady little thing. It's so adorable. Uh, it comes with a pack of two. I always have one of these in my purse. So if you're ever out hanging out with me and your eyelash falls off, just know that I have something to give you some glue and tack those lashes on. Now that the lashes are on, I, I always just go like in with a rebuff. So just buffing out the eye makeup that looks super scrumptious. And um, you know that thing that I said to you guys? It's like my favorite thing ever. It's like that sparkly stick. So I'm going to just put more up here because I'm obviously a 2000s girl and an uh, eyebrow highlight is as important to me as a juicy couture tracksuit. So buffing that out. And I'm going to do a little touch up. I'm going to put a little bit in the inner corner. Very cute. And also, something that I highly recommend you guys do is never forget bottom mascara. And I'm going to go in with this garbage mascara. Hopefully, it'll do some justice for me. I feel like bottom mascara, especially if you're a 2000s girl, helps your makeup look more full. Your eyes just like, it's not like so dark on the top lid. It's also like 
overall like kind of dark. Don't forget to like blend the mascara and the eyelashes in the inner corner. But yeah, overall this thing did nothing for me, so I'm kind of irritated at that. But we're nearing the final steps of this super cheap makeup affordable look. Uh, I'm dying to put some blush on, which is the one that I have. Okay, yeah, this is the one that I have. It's so good. It's so good. This is like way better than any blush I've ever tried in my life. It's so creamy and smooth. It is the Be Pure Essentially Ageless infused with chamomile oil whatever the heck that means good for you look at that it's like a peach color very beautiful wet and wild brush for the dollar tree obviously Whew. that really pfft. we need to be deleting that that's a lot just know this thing's pigmented that's disaster I overdid it i forgot how powerful it was okay i know how we're gonna fix this okay we're gonna fix this by using this pressed powder hopefully it'll like blur it and like deconstruct it a little bit because it's like kind of a lot right now also like this makeup some of the black is starting to like show here because it's just cheap but it's obviously still working decently well. So this is just like a white infused press powder by the brand Be Pure once again. And yeah, I have to cheat for this point. They don't have these at the Dollar Tree or they used to, but I didn't find any. So I don't care. It's still technically a very cheap item. It's just a puff pad. So what I'm doing is just like adding a bunch of that. I literally hope I don't look like a clown. I've used this once before and it's, yeah. Okay, so I'm applying it everywhere I did concealer. Also, like, because my face is, like, super, super greasy. And I hate that. This leaves, like, a white cast on your face. It's honestly kind of ugly. But then again, if you blend it out really well, you don't necessarily see it though. Okay, how's that looking? Is that... Does that look a bit better? Like, I've kind of just put it all over my cheeks at this point. I think it's like a lot more calm and also like it totally blurred like if you see this side it's got more shine also watch when I do my what do you call this thing forehead okay um gloss wear yeah nowhere nowhere to be seen Whew. this stuff is like clown makeup <laughs> so embarrassing but then again you gotta do what you gotta do right no judgment here. I would dead seriously walk out in the streets wearing this look and I would look graceful and gorgeous. So you can do the same. Okay. It definitely came in and like took away shine. It also just like made my makeup look more put together, I would say. I love it, but it's not my favorite pressed powder, but that's okay. For almost the last step, this is a Le Mercier matte finishing spray, so I'm just gonna do it. Sometimes like when I watch TikToks, I don't know if I've said this before, but like when I watch TikToks and like people are doing get ready with me and they're talking mid spritz and all that chemicals going in their mouth, I'm like, I can't focus on what you're saying. I'm just thinking about like how you're inhaling the setting spray, but that's you you do you So I, I do have a little product on my lips right now. Just some gloss like a very light gloss I'm definitely going for like a nude color of lip since I don't have a lip liner and I'm a lip liner queen You won't catch me walking the streets unless my lips are lined. I'm using my eyebrow pencil I don't care. It's brown. It's gonna look great. I'm gonna blend it in. It's gonna be fine. So It's, it's a very pretty color and it, you can, you have to be innovative, okay? Especially if like you're low on money, low on resources, whatever you can find, you can make use of it. So different products can double down as other, other things. I don't know if it's called like a Cupid's bow, like I have a little bit of that, but I like to like draw like a smooth line over it. That's on there. As for lipsticks, this is what I've got so far. Okay, my ultimate favorite 
These are both by the brand Mariposa, I think. This is like a really gorgeous creamy nude. I've used so much of it and I never see these at the store anymore. So thank goodness I have like eight backups. And then also this is like freaking the color of concealer. I'm sorry, this is so freaking good. I love it so much. It's orange. Like talk about concealer lips. I also did buy another one. It's this pink one, which I'm like curious to try. It's by, by the brand LA Colors, obviously. Like one thing I love doing with Dollar Tree since they're so cheap is just experimenting with like really cheap makeup. And lipsticks is one of my favorites. Okay, this color looks like a nude, like an orangey nude. So I'm just gonna go for it. Like, I will say, this is, like, really high-quality lipstick. I honestly have no complaints with Dollar Tree's lipsticks. And this smells like a really nice vanilla cake. Look at that. It's kind of like a matte. Obviously, it's lipstick. It's a really pretty color, and it makes me feel cute and happy. Another thing I'm going to do is, just to get, like, a little dimension, I'm going to dab a little bit of this color. It gets you that like cool toned nude kind of deal. And last but not least, I have two options for my lip glosses. This one is Cotton Candy Scented Perfume Shimmery Lip Gloss. This is so cute. I love this one. I bought it because it was pink and cotton candy smelling. But I'm not going to use that because I honestly want to open this one up. It looks so fun and cool. This is um, LA Colors Moisturizing Lip Gloss glossy finish and that yeah i have so much matte on my face that i do need a little gloss as much as like it's a big pet peeve of mine to like saturate the lipstick that i'm wearing with this wand like you know when i dab this on it's gonna mark it and it's gonna have that like nude color on my lips it's gonna taint this whole gorgeous little container okay you know what i'm just gonna go full on i will say this isn't like the best shine it's kind of like like a serum. It's not like giving like gloss. For me, in a way, I kind of like my gloss a little sticky and also plumping. And they have yet to like launch something like that at the Dollar Tree. We're kind of working what we've got. Mm, I don't like this. I feel like it's going to dry on my lips really gross. But overall, like I can bear with it and manage slightly. But yeah, let's just do like a quick close my eyes show you guys like how overall it looks overall i love it i honestly cannot believe i made a whole makeup look fully with dollar tree products like i don't know how i could look so scrumptious probably all this stuff like in total cost me like 25 26 dollars and this stuff will last for a while now that now you want to talk about a budget that's on being on a budget but anyways that's my makeup look i love it very like 2000s McBling inspired. Well, if you guys aren't already subscribed, I don't understand why you haven't done that yet. Please go ahead and just click subscribe because that means so much to me. I love making content. I love making videos for you guys. And if you want to follow on any of my journeys, such as my regular TikTok account where I do, I don't even know what these days. I'm pregnant, so I feel like constricted. But I do have like a mommy account. Those will all be linked in the caption down below if you have any requests or want to see anything else about my life. A room tour is coming. I promise you guys. I have to demolish this room before my baby comes. So it's going to be like my last final room tour tour and then yeah so I have to make that video for you guys but yeah if you liked what you saw today please don't forget to comment subscribe like and spread the love at the end of the day this world is a dark place and we need more sunshine and rainbows so yeah thank you guys for watching I hope you have a wonderful day night or life